Hi, my name is Mani Alikani. I am your Dean and Professor at CITOR Academy, and I'd like to welcome you to another session of CITOR channel. Today, I'm starting a new journey, early treatment or phase one, very important subject. So I hope I got your attention. Early treatment is based on this assumption that malocclusions are developmental problems. And even if some patient genetically predispose to more possibility of malocclusion, even those patients can be treated and can be put back in the proper path of development. Based on this assumption, what age we should start to see our patient first? Uh, usually the proper age that we recommend is at least age of seven, but it would be good, especially if the patient has a skeletal problems to uh, start to exam them at age of four or five. Today, I'm not going to talk about the skeletal problems during the development. I'm talking about the most common problem in children, and that is crowding when the patient have a skeletal class one condition. How we can recognize the severe crowding? Severe crowding either appears as irregularity of the teeth. It can be recognized as early exfoliation of the teeth. The baby tooth fall down too early. There was not enough space. Baby tooth got resolved, fall down. Ectopic eruption of the teeth. And if we wait for a long, longer time, those ectopic eruption can appear as impaction. The tooth roots is formed and cannot erupt. Sometimes it appears in the problem in the whole arch, posterior crossbite, anterior crossbite. So all these signs and symptoms, not just one, all these signs of symptoms may show you that there is a lack of a space for all the dentition in the alveolar bone. So what we should do is a developmental problem. You should develop the alveolar bone in the upper arch and the lower arch. I selected some of the cases to see the benefit of early treatment without any interruption with using braces. So I wanted to see if we don't use braces and we just do early treatment, what would be the outcome? Let's look at the first patient. In this patient, if you examine him early enough, you will notice there is not enough space for the eruption of the lower canine. The teeth, the baby teeth has exfoliated too early. Please pay attention. Uh, do not rush in extracting the baby teeth. Baby teeth are very important uh, for the development and uh, wait until they naturally fall down or there is a reason, very good reason why we need to extract it, but do not extract them to align other teeth. That is actually can interrupt or impose more developmental problem. So in this patient, the baby teeth has exfoliated early. What we should do? Early treatment for the crowding patients that have a skeletal class one mostly limited to application of upper expander, lower lip bumper, and you just continue follow the patients until all the dentition are erupted, normal, and they are functioning properly. Let's follow that with this patient. The early treatment is done. All the teeth are erupted. As you can see, there is enough space for all the teeth. There is no proclination of anterior teeth. You don't need to make a space by bringing the anterior teeth forward. Transversely, you're accommodating all the teeth. There is no buccal inclination of the posterior teeth. Everything is erupting proper position. This is based on the sutural expansion and based on cortical drifting, two important phenomena during the development. Let's look at another case. In this case, the lower left primary canine exfoliated too early. Guess what happened? Because it is unilateral, all the teeth shifted toward the left side, and there is not enough space for eruption of that canine. Of course, you have also severe crowding in the upper. So what we do? Again, early treatment, because it's a crowding problem, you start focusing on the upper expander, lower lip bumper, and you treat the patient. We will talk about expanders and lip bumper, their adjustment, how to use them properly. That was not the focus of this session. This session was to make you interested to do early treatment and see the benefit of the early treatment. At the end of the treatment, several years passed, patient didn't start the phase two, and you can see the full dentition erupted, and patient can benefit from the function without losing any teeth. This is another case. If you look at this case, you can see the anterior teeth are retroclined 
some of them are edge to edge the primary teeth pushed palatally there is a crowding in the lower and this patient if you don't interfere can develop the dental problem that can affect the development of a skeleton in these cases again you will start with the upper expander lower lip bumper and allow the patients to develop normally you do not need to interfere any other way and you can establish a proper occlusion again this is after the treatment you can see that for example there is small misalignment in the lower that can be addressed anytime it's not a space deficiency so phase one you are making enough space for development of all the teeth everything seems properly positioned and then alignment you can do it anytime it's not a big problem this is another common example that if we don't interfere the teeth because they don't have a space they erupt someplace else lower lateral you will find that most of the time lingually located what should i do should i put braces should i make a space and then uh, use uh, forces orthodontics forces to bring the teeth forward no upper expander lower lip bumper let it develop what happened if we do that let's wait for time and you can see oh the teeth erupting normally patient goes back to the full dentition when we are ready again this is not phase two done we wait when the phase two is come we engage and address all the remaining problem if there is a misalignment and spacing rotation those are not big problem you can address at any time but phase one is something amazing that you can uh, help the patients to achieve full dentition another big sign of crowding or lack of space is the crossbite patient may develop asymmetry patient may develop uh, skeletal problems that we could prevent in these patients also if you address it early enough you can have a proper development of the dentition and later on when the patient's full dentition appears we can start with the phase two and address the rest of the problem so i'm hoping i got your interest in early treatment it's a very rewarding treatment to do it's a simple treatment to do you just need to be patient and allow the body to do the work you just provide guidance and that's very important I hope you enjoyed this session of Citor channel. If you have not subscribed to our channel, please go ahead and subscribe and please don't forget to press the like button. Thank you.